he will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight in the midst of chaos there is also opportunity victorious warriors win first and then go to war while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win if you know the enemy and know yourself you need not fear the result of a hundred battles if you know yourself but not the enemy for every victory gained you will also suffer a defeat if you know neither the enemy nor yourself you will succumb in every battle the greatest victory is that which requires no battle quickness is the essence of the oar even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust the art of war is of vital importance to the state it is a matter of life and death a road either to safety or to ruin hence it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected there is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare there are not more than five musical notes yet the combinations of these five give rise to more melodies than can ever be heard there are not more than five primary colors yet in combination they produce more hues than can ever been seen there are not more than five cardinal tastes yet combinations of them yield more flavors than can ever be tasted who wishes to fight must first count the cost you have to believe in yourself build your opponent a golden bride to retreated across one may know how to conquer without begin able to do it what the ancients called a clever fighter is one who not only wins but excels in winning with is the wise warrior are avoids the battle the whole secret lies in confusing the enemy so that he cannot fathom our real intent one mark of a great soldier is that he fighter on his own terms or fights not at all if the mind is willing the fleece could go on and on without many things he who is prudent and lies in wait for an enemy who is not will be victorious anger may in time change to gladness vacants may be succeeded by content but a kingdom that has once been destroyed can never come again into begin nor can the dead ever be brought back to life there are roads which must not be flooded armies which must not be attacked towns which must not be besieged positions which must not be contested commands of the sovereign which must not be obeyed attack is the secret of defense defense is the planning of an attack great results can be achieved with small forces opportunities multiply as they are sized if quick i survive if not quick i am lost this is death to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself bravery without forethought causes a man to fight blindly and desperately like a mad bull such an opponent must not be encountered with brute force but may be lured into an ambush and slain wheels of justice grind slow but grind fine never venture never win the skillful tactician may be likened to the sawaijan now the sawaijan is a snake that is found in the chang mountains strike at its head and you will be attacked by its tail A strike at its tail and you will be attacked by its head A strike at its middle and you will be attacked by head and tail both it is easy to love your friend but sometimes the hardest lesson to learn is to love your enemy be where your enemy is not 
who does not know the evils of war cannot appreciate its benefits. In battle, there are not more than two methods of attack, the direct and the indirect. Yet these two in combination give rise to an endless series of maneuvers. Plan for what it is difficult, while it is easy. Do what is great, while it is small. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. For knowledge cannot be gotten from goods and spirits, cannot be had by analogy, cannot be found out by calculation. It must be obedient from people, people who know the conditions of the enemy. If you fight with all your might, there is a chance of life, whereas death is certain if you climb to your corner. Do not shallow bait offered by the enemy. Do not interfere with an army that is retaining home. We cannot enter into alliance until we are acquainted with the designs of our neighbors. When the outlook is bright, bring it before their eyes, but tell them nothing when the situation is gloomy. The oats climates that beckful an army arise from hesitation. If there is disturbance in the camp, the general's authority is weak. Hence, that general is skillful in attack, whose opponent does not know what to defend. And he is skillful in defense, whose opponent does not know what to attack. Those skill at making the enemy move do so by creating a situation to which he must confirm. They entice him with something he is certain to take, and with lots of ostensible profit they await him in strength. Energy may be linked to the bending of a crossbow, decision to a releasing of a trigger. When your army has crossed the border, you should burn your boats and bridge, in order to make it clear to everybody that you have no hankering after home. Ponder and deliberate before you make a move. Rewards for good service should not be deferred a single day.